uh, okay. <laughs> um, by the way, big shout out to Indiana. You got to turn those down. So I listened to an episode recently. It was so fucking loud. The applause. Was so oh, the applause loud. one is crazy, dude. Uh, I want to start off. Dr. Nova sent an article that uh, Chinese stars are now legal once again in Indiana. I saw that, dude. How happy are you? I already rented a U-Haul. <laughs> For a U-Haul's worth of I'm Chinese heading, stars? No, I'm heading back. I'm moving back. Home. Are you moving back? Yeah. Finally. The only reason I left the state was because of the Chinese star ban. Are you good at Chinese stars? Uh, they Well, I was top 10 in Indiana. All right. Is that a real statistic? Or is that he's top got a tro- right? He's got a trophy right off camera. Got two right trophies. There. Dude, it, I want you to go get a fucking Chinese star throwing trophy. Do you want me to bring him in and ha- see who throws my Chinese stars the best? Let's put I, an apple by on the way, Andrew's head. Not legal in California. I, I didn't know that they went illegal because they used to be legal in Indiana. Didn't know they went illegal. Now they're back. Finally, Indiana is writing a long wrong. <laughs> long wrong. <laughs> long wrong dong. Nothing's long. illegal if you buy it at a swap meet. That's, That's true. true. That's, That's just a law. That why are they even? I don't get why they make them illegal. Who cares? Because kids were probably blinding each other with them, like on that South Park episode. I don't. How think many that's kids? True. I don't think that's one, true. <laughs> one in the whole country, dude. If I, I don't had, know one person in my life who's been injured by a Chinese how many ninja exactly. weapons did you have? Go through your list of ninja I, weapons. How many have. ninja weapons do I still have? What do you think I threw them away? At your peak, all ninja weapons. Give me the list. Dozens of Chinese stars. Fuck yes. Dozens of knives. Yes. Nunchucks. Uh, I had uh, two different machetes that I would carry around now, is with that me. A ninja weapon. A machete. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when? How is it not? It? Switchblades. Is that considered a ninja weapon? No. Not just <laughs> cool <laughs> shit that kills people. Like ninja uh, stuff. I had tree climbing spikes. Oh, did you have crampons? I consider is those. That what they were called crampons. <laughs> Tampons. Crampons. I don't. Cramp- crampons are the ones that you put for climbing on snow and uh, cramp- yeah, yeah, cramp yeah. offs. Yeah, that's it. The ninja climbers. These were tree spikes. They're technically used by by like uh, telephone pole workers, oh, yeah. but I use them as ninja tree climbing spikes. And also people who did landscaping and had to trim trees. Did you have stuff. the two sh- toed shoes? Uh, no, but I wanted them. But then I knew that I would stink them up too much with because I'd wear them all the time with no socks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? And my have, mom's like, "You're gonna stink your shoes up." Did you have a ninja sword, a f- the flat ninja sword? No, that's why I had machetes because I didn't like the ninja sword. I thought it was ineffective. But two machetes, that's way better because it's you jungle know I'm ninja. Take issue with you saying that a machete is more effective than a ninja sword. Two machetes. Two ninja swords. <laughs> you can, what are you going to do with two ninja swords? Kill a guy with two machetes. No, they have really long handles. They're built for two hands. Machetes are built no, for one hand. A ninja hand sword each. isn't. Okay. A samurai sword, a katana, is built for two hands. It's a two-handed A ninja weapon. sword is not built with for two hands? No, it's a straight sword built for assassination attempts. It's not used for two hands. No, it's used for one in one hand. It's closer to the size of wa- let a me wa- let me Google a wakasashi. Well, I don't Google, but let me wakasashi. Go- wakasashi. Waka wakasashi. <laughs> yeah, it's Fozzie Bear's short sword. <laughs> I gotta commit seppuku with his waka wakasashi. Waka oh, wakasashi. I see what you're talking about. Those are more like long knives, long dongs, long knives. But I'll hit you with my machetes, dude. Because they're weight, they got the weight to cut through the jungle. Let's not fight each other. Let's, let's talk about how. Let's just agree that they're both awesome. Do it's right, tra- you're a trained weapons expert in swords. Yeah, you're, you have your PhD, player hater degree. <laughs> 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 When's the last time you di- you yielded a, sh- a sword? Wielded a sword? Yeah. That, no, you yielded to one. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you, you yielded all swords. You made sure that no other swords were coming. Uh, it's you been went. over 10 years. Uh, so I need to get rusty. back in the game. Are your wrists real fucking weak? You don't throw from the wrist. You throw from the hips. You have carpal you have hip syndrome. It. You do have to hold it. But if you're using your wrist with your sword play, you're losing. Well, that's what they say what you're talking about is like old way of thinking. 
Now it's all wrist. No, it's not. They haven't changed it to wrist only sword play. <laughs> How do you know? In the in the late two thousands, they switched to wrist only. You sword just told play. me the starting salary of the LAPD is two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I did not say that. I said it was over a hundred thousand. And it might have been California Highway Patrol. Andrew's unverified facts brought to you by. <laughs> These are things I've seen. Four chan. <laughs> I don't go on four chan. Have you ever thrown uh, an axe? I could see you going to one of those bars where you throw an axe. I have over thrown your head. axes. I have done it at re- medieval reenactments as part of drinking games not uh, <laughs> take a uh, shot bro things. you missed the log <laughs> is that what it is yeah sort of like uh, that yeah. well, how'd you do we were doing the hooter shooters where they chi- out of women's boobies yeah with the chicks with huge old titties and if you hit the ball <laughs> oh, the emphasis on all you get on your knees and then <laughs> suck the hooter shooter out of their big old cleavage Ooh, why are you sounds... still not going to these things because it's I'm right married, up your I think, uh, yeah, but my why, wife couldn't your wife be it. couldn't you be sucking them out of your wife's hooter shooter yeah i'd do that i put them in her booter shooter <laughs> the, you're like oh. i'm married now i'm bringing a new level of debauchery <laughs> i just saw a statistic. <laughs> taking shots out of my wife's ass <laughs> hey guys i'm back <laughs> just like in the middle ages <laughs> i just saw a statistic the reason why they banned uh chinese stars is because Kids were throwing them, and they were falling in pools, and then they were drowning trying to get them out. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. And they also banned uh, swimming uh, 30 minutes <laughs> after you ate. I want to see a report. How many kids are injured per year? Zero. From uh, Ninja Chinese Stars? Star- yeah. It, it's just, it's, it has the word ninja in it. So they, they banned the Ninja Blender in Indiana for a while. Uh, they banned Ninja and um, the UK for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They had to call them Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Yeah, but because Ninja in England is a is a racial slur. And for what? Bomb. It's the end bomb. No, it's not. It's the it's other end bomb. Yeah, it's the, no, they yeah. did it because it means assassin. If you say if you say a hard A at the end of ninja, you can't say assassin. Oh, so you're supposed to say ninja. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how that's how it was originally. Yeah. I don't I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's it is a slur, dude. dude. When I was in middle school, I was super into anime and manga, and I tried to make my own. Oh, and then what happened? <laughs> you're like, no, I'm middle aged. I'm still into. I rediscovered all my dumb shit. <laughs> I don't think you rediscovered it. You just never. I did. You I never undiscovered it. No, there was a period in my 20s to early 30s where I was just about getting fucked up you on t- drugs. You turned stuff. your back. Yeah. Now it's a renewed youth. Andy. It is. I will say that you're still into getting fucked up on drugs. I'm, yeah, but that's your different. cousin. Before Aaron showed up, you would show up high on drugs to this show all the time. Do you all think right. Aaron turned your life around? Yeah, via softball it, talk. He's my he's my uh, drugaholics anonymous <laughs> accountability. Drugaholics. Do you think that because <laughs> you're like I want to, I want Aaron to think that like I'm not an addict. You cleaned up. No, it's because you would berate me so severely when I would show up. So I saved your life. Shows. No, you did not. You just made me go. I don't want to deal with this right now. I'll get high at another time. <laughs> Do you think that I did get you off drugs? You did not get me yes, off drugs. Tell me the truth. Do you think I got you off drugs? Little, little known fact: uh, NA doesn't stand for Narcotics Anonymous. It stands for No, Aaron. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Aaron. How- Do you? Uh, okay. Why would I say? Do you think that I got you off drugs? Just yes or no? No. Are you, you off drugs? Yeah, are you off drugs? Is no. That... So there are you go. <laughs> That's an easy answer. <laughs> are you off drugs on the show? <laughs> yes. Do you think that I got you off drugs on the show? At yeah, your but not through anything other so, than annoying me, you know? Well, <laughs> uh, as opposed to what? Like, this guy's high. He's horny. He's derailing the show. You're the two H's. <laughs> Can you give me a wish then for doing such an amazing thing? What's the off- wish you want? I have to grant you a wish? <laughs> Yeah, you have to grant me a wish. What kind of fucking shit is that? To make a wish, get off drug program. That's a narcar- narcotics Tra- anonymous wish. Tra- Trade your drugs program. in for a wish. All right, what wish do you have? Have you ever heard sponsors, like sponsors, where they do a good job, keep you off drugs? Say, now make, make a, a wish. wish. Yeah. Make your wish. What is it? It's called uh, It's called the Aladdin AA program. Give me your it's wish. Aladdin anonymous. What is your wish? Will you grant it to me? First, let me hear it. No, you have to grant me a wish. All right, I'll grant you the wish. You 100% grant uh, me the yeah, wish? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to tell no, you that. No, <laughs> tell you guarantee. Tell a this guy's like, no, I don't like the way you sarcastically agreed to grant my wish. Is there a warranty on the wish? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a fucking tons of warranties <laughs> on wishes, dude. 
<laughs> it is a contractually dubious situation to enter a, into some kind of wish agreement with someone. Is that okay? If if you legally, if I had a contract written up by a lawyer that said you granted me a wish, is that is that enforceable? No. Any wish? No, because I'm I'm not a genie. Any legal wish? What if he could prove you a genie blood? I can't agree to something without knowing what, what if it I is. what if I what if I found out your dad had sex with I dream of genie. Okay, go on. Do you have a baby <laughs> report? Do you have anything else to add to this? <laughs> or if it's just a cool what if? <laughs> so you don't think it's legally enforceable for me to force me to grant your wish? No, Correct. you if you agree to it on and a it's legal. Podcast? No, I have it written up by a fucking contract by an actual lawyer. I'm not. And you sign it. I am not agreeing to any (laughs) wish-based contract that you bring lawyers into. I'm talking hypothetically. Do you think that it would be legally enforceable? Hypothetically doesn't matter because I'm not getting near that fucking thing. All right. Because it's going to be like, go guess what? I'm going to get you back on drugs. Andrew, you want some drugs? Yeah. You got some? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get you so fucked up on the show. You're going to be in the corner like a fucking just all jacked out on heroin. I'll, like, tell you uh, what re- the, I'll tell you the real reason I'm not on drugs on this show anymore. Okay? Yeah. You're taking your The last off. time I was on drugs on the show, you were so mad at me for derailing the episode that you punched this wall. <laughs> Do you remember that? I didn't punch the wall. You did. Oh. You go, you stupid. <laughs> it was... I was... It was a callback to when you pounded on the wall. I know. At the old Boner City I know, studio. but I felt bad about it. And I was like, I can't come in here because I can't control what I'm going to say about Danish's great hair or ladies' <laughs> butts or whatever. When I'm on <laughs> weed, I just start. I just can't shut the fuck up. You know? You know what? You know what I have to say? What? Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> this guy, why be cocky about it? You can just be nice. You I just, just said you're welcome. Nice okay. Andrew, when, look at me. Andrew. You're welcome. Hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> when no you- Give me that wish. Give me that wish. <laughs> What's that wish? When are you doing drugs? What's your new drug schedule? I have to do drugs at night. Hold on. Let me look at the let me look at the Beach Cows Patreon blog. Oh, did drugs. You took a dump, got me off of off. that, too. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> hey, this guy I miss how many dumps. I, yeah. Every day, I'm like, I wonder how many I shits he's taking it. today. I'm Dude. driving around going, did he jer- you think he jerked <laughs> off today already? <laughs> you want know, to hear something crazy? I went on a juice fest because I was so sick of taking shits. Did you say juice fest? You juice fast. Juice fest. Jew fast. I went to Jew fast. I did a Jew fast to Jew fast 2023. Is that like Coachella? <laughs> yeah, it's for like Jew- Coachella, but like for people who want to get away from Jews. There's like real long lines for the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's all porta potties. <laughs> no, and on the main stage, we're gonna have porta potties. They'd have real bathrooms. Oh, that's pe- true. People need them. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's a one man bathroom, so it's uh, but it's nice. Jew fast would be pretty sweet. Jew fast, Jew fast, Jew fast. Yeah, Ari could perform at some point. What would he do? I don't know. He could get something together for Jew fest. You I'm could sure. play uh, the dreidel game for tickets. <laughs> you for, would be a, for gambling. A good band name would be <laughs> Jew fist. It's a good band name. Jew but fist. I'm not gonna disagree probably, with probably you. Probably not a good name these days, but yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends. I mean, you would definitely get a time specific. major. <laughs> good, good, good point. Um, oh, by the way, did you see the clip of the jerk off karaoke? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, that's a porno. That's not a real game show. No, that was a game show, dude. Guys, all of the Japanese horny game show things are porno. You ever seen Wheel true. of Suck My Fortune? No, but could you, spin you do the it? Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's spin the wheel and suck a penis. <laughs> A lot of heavy lifting on the penis sucking part of the show. Have you ever seen Je- have you ever seen Jep pee? <laughs> what is that? Where they pee on you? God, you try I'd love questions. that, dude. That'd what about Wheel amazing. of Fortune? But like one of the things is suck this guy's penis. But the other things are pretty like pretty good. What's prizes. the guy's penis look like? It's awesome. Uncircumcised. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show for me. To be <laughs> uh, what about Wheel of Four Chan? And you have to read a random comment on 4chan and say that you wrote it? Yeah. <laughs> and then grant a wish. So you, have to, you have to finish the 4chan Finish uh, quote. the 4chan. That would be actually a pretty good show. Wheel of 4chan, and you have to finish the 4chan f- comment or phrase. 
Yeah. That's a good show. A dangerous show for getting it immediately kicked off the air. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not going to be on NBC, but I'm saying a spinoff show, Wheel of Four Chad. Yeah. That's a great show. All right. Why don't you give me an example? Look up a 4chan quote and we'll I'm not, finish I'm it. I'm not going on there. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> is that your wish for me to go on 4chan yeah. for you? It's to host the show. You know what my wish is. What is my wish or your wish? Break Aaron's trophy. That's a crazy <laughs> wish. <laughs> is that legal? <laughs> Aaron has a plaque now. Dude, it's a dope plaque. Aaron, it's it's made of dope? Aaron, do you want to talk about the plaque? You said you had something crazy happen last yeah, night. Plaque psoriasis. Is that true? You got it for the Plaque Psoriasis <laughs> Foundation? <laughs> a plaque for the Plaque Psoriasis is crazy. It's just flaky skin? Well, I didn't tell you guys what happened in the first inning of the... Uh, the game last week. I heard two guys. Seen you guys. Two guys made love and they, they broke the Is game. Is that true? Two no, a kissed. dude slid in a second, broke his ankle. Oh, how, is, how did that happen? He slid late and the bags don't come off. Wait, are they supposed to come off? Some no. some do. You can buy you can buy those, but, uh, but they, you guys bought the ones. That are are you, these you, the bags? That, do they have the the rectangular hole and they have, you stick them in? Yeah. Okay. yeah are these the fun bags or are these the ankle breakers? We'll take. Uh, Did you say fun bags? <laughs> yeah, fun bags. <laughs> oh yeah. Slide into the fun bags. So he so he just jammed his foot into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you gotta, uh, you gotta go head first, Pete Rose style. Break those fingers. <laughs> How uh, hard was the slide? It must have been pretty hard. I mean, he was trying to beat out a double play. Dude, that's too hard for in a mural sport. So yeah. what happened? Ambulance or do they just? Yeah, yeah. Am- full Ooh. ambulance. It's going to cost you. Gurney. Yeah. Ooh. Who? Dan Gurney was there? The no. race car driver? <laughs> did you guys give him a slow <laughs> clap? A did you guys clap him off? As we did. He was, we did. You we did him a clap off. Yeah, we did. He didn't do a thumbs up, which is disappointing. But Wouldn't uh, it have yeah. been easier He's for like, one of you just to drive him to the hospital? Like a lot cheaper? No, well, you have then to clap I think until the, he I think makes the it league, to there himself. <laughs> I think the league will cover some of the uh, you guys, cost. You guys have insurance? Of course they do. The Holy league. No, I mean, but you got it'll cover you guys? I think to some degree the dude, league I would will. Still, yeah. Dude, like, I would go in there and say, say that your back hurts because of the pitching, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, do you, it, hey, do you, why are you suing be, for a billion dollars? It has to be on field. Uh, yeah, do you think this field. guy is, will be back or is this is going to be a retirement? No, we, they I, took I, him out back and shot him. <laughs> 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 the glue factory? Yeah. Dude, you have insurance? If anything happens to you, just drag your ass out to that field. What if he said, I want to keep playing on one leg? No, no. It, it was it was like his his foot should have been pointing up. It was like at four o'clock. Uh, it should have been at midnight. It was four o'clock. So that was, is uh, not a good thing to have yeah, happen. So it, oh, dude, you're making me throw. Did up. you guys drag him off the field just to keep the game going while you waited for the end? Ah, guys, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Dude, I'm Wait, having food, Facebook. Get a photo with it. Dude, There's I'm no having way. flashbacks yeah. from that when I went with Ari. Some guy tripped. He was drunk, and his foot went 180 degrees back, uh, uh, and he didn't know uh, it. And everyone said, "Sit uh, down. Your foot's on backwards." Uh, 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 and he's like, "Oh, hold on. Let me so put dude, my foot I, on forwards." Picturing that guy's foot at four o'clock is making me puke. Yeah, sorry, but Fuck. It, it's oh. the craziest thing I've maybe ever seen. Did you laugh at the guy? No, no, uh, no, no. no. I, was, I was shocked at how stoic he was. He, I would have been wailing. You wouldn't have heard the ambulance coming <laughs> They're like everyone uh, stop crying like this guy's like marcus aurelius give him a round of applause for the stoicism did like, you uh <laughs> did you try to twist his foot back see if he could still no, play no no you but, didn't try to pop it out a joint no people got his shoe off for him oh. and and cut his sock off but nobody uh why <laughs> why touch those just I, I don't even know. I think he just wanted it off. Just wants the sock. He's like, take the sock off, dude. I might. You ch- gotta cut the sock off. <laughs> Leave me here. Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> thing to take the shoe off, but then so it goes and cuts the fucking sock off. By the way, was it swollen? I think the- I might drop my insurance and just join a softball league. <laughs> that's the new. Like, I got a so-, be so funny if that's how people in America get around. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt, <laughs> dude. For as much as I pay for fucking health insurance. Dude, I I would if I get a sore throat, I'll be like it happened on the field. Yeah, I was uh, deep throating a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah so get, they they had to play uh, shorthanded the rest of the game because they only had ten guys. Short ankle. Why didn't they? Uh, uh, me goofy footed. Yeah. <laughs> why didn't they play longhanded? 
I mean, uh, I mean, because what? Why didn't they play? <laughs> Do you get it? Shorthand, longhand. Yeah, hey, if it's if it's softball, why don't they play underhanded? <laughs> and then they did. You guys are under. You guys are the underhanded <laughs> fucking people of the baseball. Community. Was there hesit was hesitation to slide the rest of the game? Yes, absolutely. People are like, don't, don't, stay Don't up. do it. Yeah. Stay <laughs> up, you <laughs> fucking piece of It'd shit. It'd be so funny I'll if take more people out. did I'll the same thing out. and twisted their ankles. They're like, oh, shit. Dude, I would, de- de- oh, God. This is rec league. What yeah. are you, you're breaking an ankle rec league in. Yeah. I mean, it was the playoffs. Where well, they're like, <sighs> we just lost Johnson. We got to win the fucking game. Yeah, they <laughs> they was it with let's the team? Go, let's like, go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> we're doing. Were they like we're doing this for him? Like we're playing? I mean, they almost. They, you know, we put a big hurt on him for the first few innings, and then we kind of felt bad about it. <laughs> They're like, let's let him score. Are you and serious? Then, and, yeah, we this felt is bad. The playoffs. I know we felt bad though. Playoffs. Cobra Kai. No mercy. Yeah, and then they uh, they Never they surrender. caught up, and we beat him by uh, one run, and they had the tying run on third. When sounds when the game like ended. you put a squirting on him. Do you think the guy didn't drink enough milk and that was uh, he had some weak bones? He yeah. was a pretty big dude. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, so fat. <laughs> not that he's not that kind of big. He was a, he Were was there a any filled. medical oh, so muscly fat? Yeah. Were there any medical professionals on the scene that played? I think he worked at a hospital. He's like, I'll handle this. Oh shit! I can't like do in it. an administrative position? I don't or? know. He was just like, hey, he was a hospital my, administrator. He goes, all right, let's see how to handle this. Well, first of all, fire a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> What responsibility do the umpires have in that situation? To None. kiss it? No. Kiss it better? No. Yeah. <laughs> Just to help. help to kiss it. Aaron in front of the guy that take his mind off of the feet of orange slices at the hospital. <laughs> Want me to call your mom? Uh, I got a FaceTime going. <laughs> like, what, what? Was the guy, does the guy have kids and stuff? What's the guy's occupation? He, I don't know. He worked at a hospital. I don't know. Man, so he's off his, I mean, he's going to be getting workman's comp or something if he's potentially yeah. in a position where you have to use your leg. What's the nearest God, hospital uh, to where you play? Providence uh, Burbank right insurance here. only covers, uh, you have to drive fucking 50 miles. <laughs> you have to go to the softball hospital. In Providence Tijuana. St. Joseph's where uh, my kid was born. Yeah. They said, oh, hey, wow. are you here? Andrew DeWitt's son, uh, kid was born. I'm People son. ask that question every time they bring in an uh, ankle injury. <laughs> hey, isn't this the hospital from due date? I went, on the, uh, I went on the Andrew DeWitt tour of L.A., and they took me to that hospital. Is that true? They, they don't use that room anymore. There is a rumor. They just have a sign and a velvet rope that says Andrew DeWitt's daughter. There's a rumor here. that the reason that the water tower is painted at the Disney Studios is because Disney was dying in the at Providence St. Jo- Joseph, and the last thing he said when he was looking at the window was, that water tower looks like shit. And, it's I, like, and uh, I hate Jews, allegedly. Is that yeah. Je- you know Jerry Springer's <laughs> final, final thoughts were? What were they? <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish uh, I'd let those big fat ladies sit on my face. By the way, R.I.P. fucking Hillbilly Oprah. Yeah. That's what I They better uh, tip that casket in a brawl during the memorial. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Why did you start chanting Jerry? That's how he should go out. Uh, someone should bring a chair the over the casket. Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, and Steve's Jerry. like, hey, bring it up. Come yeah. on, guys. Dude, by the way, why did you knock on wood because Jerry Springer died? Because you think he's going to come back to life. <laughs> You're like, uh, knock on wood. Are you, like, are you, so sca- are you so on death him? doesn't happen <laughs> to anybody I care about. Did you kill Jerry Springer? I cared about Jerry. All right, well, Jerry, I can't help that. Jerry paid a hooker with the uh, personal check, got him caught. He's had a ha- – can you imagine that? He was, <laughs> Who he pays was, for the personal check? He was a way. mayor. Was he the mayor of what? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. So the guy who made the mayor, he became a fucking talk show icon. For he, years. He was on for like what, 20 years? 15? 27 years. Damn, dude. Quite a run. Uh, 26 years. 26 years. Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, dude. And even his security guard got a show. Can I get you a Which is insane because that guy's a zero. Yeah. Steve. What's Steve he had doing it on these for days? for years, dude. Because all he had to do was bring people out to fight, and then he's like, come on. Now. I'll break it up. I can't break it up. I'm the host. Yeah. It's my security it's guard. But he would break it up. <laughs> dude, no wonder fucking people come to America to be like, it's the land of opportunity. This idiot who's just a security guard on a fucking sh- on that shitty show. Gets his own show, and what's he get paid per year? Better security Millions. guard, Steve versus Guillermo from Kimmel. Oh, Guillermo. Steve, Guillermo is you take more Steve? personality. Well, in a fight between you're saying Guillermo better and Steve. actual security guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Steve probably has actual training. I don't think Guillermo really could do. Steve's much a of big anything. guy. Guillermo's a tiny guy. Um, he's, he's maybe smaller than Dewitt. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you're like, hey, don't. don't is that say true? That. Guillermo? Guillermo is shorter than you. No, I'm shorter than him. And he, he, 
and Guillermo has regular shit in his pants, not dog shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, Aaron. So what else happened? So we so, have the big ankle break. Yeah. So that was that. We won that game. How uh, long was the delay? Like fifteen minutes. Oh, that's it. Wow. That's yeah, quick. yeah. The ambulance got there pretty quick. Well, that's Burbank, like baby. Minutes. Fucking ambulance. That's, that's Burbank. Did it pull onto the field? I know. No, I would have had someone drive me. Yeah, drive me to the fucking hospital. I don't get an ambulance. Yeah, I would. I would have walked with a broken ankle before I fucking get an ambulance. <laughs> it, with the <laughs> chance that maybe Burbank Insurance pays for it. <laughs> Fuck that. You All can right. do a GoFundMe. The other teams can chip That's in. That's true. Aaron, you should put together something. Yeah, we'll sure. do a little dance in uh, my underpants for the GoFundMe. Why don't you start a <laughs> kissing booth with Andrew? <laughs> kiss butt, kiss penis booth? <laughs> yeah, you give the money to this guy's ankle. <laughs> who's going to kiss butt? Who's going to kiss penis? I kiss butt. They kiss my penis. <laughs> and then you guys kiss on the lips. Uh, yeah. Dude, what a crazy Let's booth. Say who tasted better. <laughs> what a crazy booth. There's just like, it's just two holes in a wall. One's big enough for them to put their butt through, and then the other is your wieners just sticking out the bottom, and they kiss that at the end. And then you kiss his butt, and then someone just takes off, and you start screaming, hey, get back here. You didn't kiss my penis. Yeah. But no, they should have a security guard. He's like, hey, you got your butt kissed. You got to kiss his dick. <laughs> what, is, what are we doing? You pay less, maybe, just to do the butt kiss. What is you can you can go. <laughs> so if you pay more, they yell at you if you don't kiss his penis. Yeah, I'll yeah. get my butt kissed. Can we do that? Too? Like, get I'll your get, money's worth. I'll get my butt <laughs> kissed and my penis kissed. No, you have to do one or the other. Will you yeah. kiss their penis? Sure, it depends on the penis. Though. And then they kiss your butt. Yeah. Okay, so there's just your cheeks, your lily white cheeks, with just and they have to put lipstick on before they kiss it, so you can see where it's been kissed, so you don't. Know, get uh sick from kissing someone else's spot or they, or they could butt. they could do uh rubbing alcohol wipe downs i guess oh, your ass would be so fucking i'll do the moisturizer <laughs> one kind but uh, i want you to grow your ass hair out for this no way why because i love a smooth butt it doesn't dude. matter what you love yeah they for, want it, yeah they want a big hairy no ass. they don't <laughs> that's what they, they wrote don't. in they don't want yes that. no one wants that dude it's the big hairy ass festival you guys, <laughs> you, think that you guys are sitting there on your gross hairy buttholes <laughs> like i don't know what y'all are thinking but i know what i'm thinking dude, this is jew fest you got to bring a nice hairy ass no you don't you're hoping I, if we're, like, I'm, we're definitely not doing this at jew they're gonna fest. know they're you're gonna a, complain they're gonna know you're a gentile if you come with a shaven ass you think if they'll see that circumcised wiener and go, I don't know. Do you think if Good Russia and China why? attack us and take us over, that they're just going to have a line of people pull down their pants and they're going to look at their ass and they're like, hairy ass, you're dead. Hairy ass, you're dead. Ooh, smooth ass. You stay. Yeah, that's what you're I gonna think. You're going to be Putin's bad boy. That's what I think. That's what I think, O'Neill. That's what I think, buddy. Is, it, is that why you're doing uh. it? Yeah, I'm specifically doing it to avoid a Holocaust type situation where everyone's getting killed except for me because I have a shaved asshole. And then you're Putin's bad boy. Putin's Guys, bad can, boy. can my favorite band play at, at Jewfest? Who's that? Jimmy Eat World. Sure. Oh. Is that your favorite band for real? Yeah. Jimmy Eat Monza Ball. Are they Jewish? No, but their they name go. spells Jew as an acronym. That's cool. Oh, well, that could be anti-Jew stuff. <laughs> you think it is? I'll have to, we'll have to interview him first to see their yeah. thoughts. I would say, how do you feel about Mein Kampf? <laughs> <laughs> like it? <laughs> Love it? Have you seen Harry Potter? What do you think about the bankers in that? Do you think that's a fun, cool thing or maybe a little bit shitty? <laughs> they are from Arizona. but Oh, but Arizona, not. the Israel of America. Uh, I've got a question for way. you. Uh, what do you think about the Rothschilds? Do you have any <laughs> weird conspiracy <laughs> theories about this? Good those? question here by Jordan N. Do you think Putin is shaved or hairy? He is he's hairy. Shaved. He's hairy. No, he's shaved. But I think he's, he's not that hairy of a guy. I think he's like. I think he's naturally I think he has unhairy. Naturally yeah. low body hair. So I agree. He's, he's very pale. Pale that. people aren't that hairy. Seagal, I bet, is a, a wolfish ass. Very yeah. hairy. Yeah, that guy sucks. It's he a, has a huge flat. dong. Does he really? Vlad or Seagal? Everybody has Both. a huge dong now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying it's not that cool? It There's dong cool. inflation? It's fucking over, dude. <laughs> big dong is over. <laughs> Dude, did we hit big, is it, are we in a big dog bubble? You're saying, hey, the big dog bubble at WallStreetJournal.com. You're saying big dick energy is just redundant. It's, everyone has Everyone's it. got a big dick, dude. Who cares? <laughs> That's, 
That's a good way to look at it. It's Everyone's like, got a huge honk. It's like being dick. a millionaire is not that cool anymore. No, because yeah. you need to be a millionaire just to be middle class and buy a home. And have a you big dong. You need a fucking seven plus to ten inch wiener just to make a chick have an orgasm. You're saying be, I can almost make a girl have an orgasm. You only need to be I a millionaire do it. in LA. I'm almost ready to fuck like a man. <laughs> You only need to be a millionaire in L.A. to buy a house. Most other it's, places. That'll not. change soon to everywhere. Wish I was a millionaire. Uh, Aaron, what else <laughs> happened here in this? You said there was other. Uh, you well, won a plaque. Yeah. Then we played yesterday. Uh, we we were the number four seed, lowest seed coming in. We played the number one undefeated 5-0 and o team. A uh, bunch of young jack dudes who are not a one of them over five foot seven. Whoa! Wow. Um, hey, so they're tiny. They were tiny, but but Jack, the tiny Jack team. <laughs> yeah, but for some reason, we played them earlier this season. We played them the first game of the season, and they had a different pitcher. Th- for some reason, this game they had some old guy who could barely get the ball over the plate. Whoa! So he walked like nine of us. Maybe it was somebody's like a, dad, like a Make a Wish. Maybe so I don't maybe know he was the dad of all those little Jack kids. <laughs> maybe <laughs> is it tough to pitch to these little guys to get it in the strike zone? No, no. no it's it's right. Do you sing Daydream Believer to him because they're tiny, like that guy <laughs> from the uh, Monkeys, Davey. Davey Jones? What's their team name? The seven. The this was the dwarfs. This was this. This is ridiculous. So there's another team. With the same name in the league, so they called one Dirtbags Hernandez, which was the team we just played, <laughs> and the other one is Dirtbags and someone else's last name. <laughs> it's what? the dumbest thing. Why not just make though. one of them change it? Yeah, they yeah, knew the, this going in. The one of them has been in the league forever, and the and this these guys are new, so I don't know why they even let them. They, I would have just said, no, you got to change that. Just be the comebags. Yeah, that's big. Dick that's energy. what scumbag really means. You know that, right? What's this, isn't it a scumbag condom? is this slang for condom, yeah. Use, oh, yeah. Use condom. But yeah, we beat them pretty handily. I struck out a bunch of dudes. Um, How many did you kiss? At least seven. Oh, is shit. that true? Andrew? <laughs> you should have got out there kissing other dudes. You should have gone to the game. He likes something different than what I like. He I know, but little, he likes little tiny jack guys. <laughs> you should have got in before he kissed seven dudes. Now he might have cold sores. It, everyone's got cold sores, buddy. Not and me. big dongs. You don't. You don't think you carry the simplex virus? Oh, on I your probably face? do, but I don't show. <laughs> this guy's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> no, you guys are growers. I'm a non-shower. So what was crazy is we we got up a pretty big lead on him. We were beating him by like eight runs. These are the little guys. The little guys, yeah. And uh, the umpire says, <laughs> "Okay, time has expired. They're the home team, so we got to finish out this inning." Uh-huh. <laughs> we we uh, maybe give up one run, which is fine. We can afford to take that. We get our three outs. We're celebrating. And the umpire says, oh, wait, there's actually more time. What? What kind of umpire you guys got here? This is the head of all umpires. Are league. you guys <laughs> the head of the organization? Yeah. It's what really kind of, uh, hey, Aaron, what kind of umpire you guys got? <laughs> I mean, this guy was actually pretty good. He was the head vampire. Uh, he's pretty good other than he doesn't know how much time he's is left a vampire fucking... umpire. Yeah. He was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was strange, but... Uh, Do you think that they had this umpire in their back pocket? No. But he also was under 5'7 and jacked. Ooh, Ooh he may have known them from the gym. Yeah, it's possible. dude. This is from the little not looking gym. good. 5'7 <laughs> and under gym. So Welcome we had to, to play... Short Kings. <laughs> Can you imagine you there's, try to walk there's in There's their there? team name right there, the Short Kings. Is what if that? you try yeah, to walk into name. the gym and you hit your head on the door or the top of the door? You're <laughs> you like, must oh, be, this isn't for you. You must be this short and the king to enter this gym. <laughs> the pull-up bar is real low. Everything's yeah. built to their specification. Tiny yeah. showers. Yeah, tiny little slides. Little urinals. Yeah, yeah. Little tricycles to ride you to the next piece. The wait, equipment. Little tricycle stationary bikes. No, there's a train that takes you to the next uh, workout machine. Yeah. Do, all, do. The, all the employees so cute. have to be 5'7 and under as well to not shame them. That's true. That would be how to do it. Dude, how great would that be? You And I, you're like, you have a giant conductor that's like, come on, little fellas. Train's or, leaving for the for fucking squat town. <laughs> <laughs> do, do. Ah. It's a fantastic business idea, dude. Yes, dude. L- little guys who get treated like children. I already started it, O'Neal. I'd like ah. to see you open one. I'll sue your ass. Dude, it's Train Town Jib. Short King Train Town. Yes. And then you, <laughs> slash Playground. If you're a little guy. <laughs> Jib slash Playground. <laughs> For the short boys. <laughs> Slide right into the fucking uh, quad machine. Oh, uh, there should be one lady who's six five jacked, and that'll be mommy. And she throws you? She's, she's everyone's mom. She throws you into the pool. Yeah. And says, you got to learn sometime. 
And then she first puts her fa- puts your head between her tits, shakes them, and then throws you in the pool. Oh, that'd be amazing. Andrew's going to chop his legs off to get to the yeah, height can required. I, can I get some leg shortening <laughs> surgery? So I can go to Short King? Yeah, if there's a lady in the muscle lady in there doing shit like that. And then some tall guy tries to walk, and he's like 6'2". He hits his head on the door, and they're like, dumbass. Yeah, and, and they, then he's like, this is discrimination. They treat him like Takashi 6'9", take him in the locker room, beat him in the, Try to kick him in the face, but they can't. They're like, we can't like, reach it. <laughs> look at all these tall guys looking in the window at us taking our train to each workout station. <laughs> They're like, go on over to Tall Guys Gym, you piece of shit. And they should also be like, put your put your backpack and jackets in your cubby first yeah. before we start our work. Here's the graham crackers oh. from our apple juice. A whistle blows. Graham crackers and apple juice. That's it's, what they have at the desk. It's lunchtime. Everybody puts, they have a big cooler with everybody's lunch in it. Yeah, they also have uh, uh, Kool-Aid fruit punch with those little cookies that have this hole in them that you can put on your fingers. Those shortbread cookies. <laughs> This is Aaron. Would you, uh, if you were a short guy, would you go to this gym? I mean, I guess I'd have to. You could recommend <laughs> it. He goes, it's legally required. Yeah, yeah, that's another reason it's a good business move. Is because it's a legally required Dude, gym. If we did like an Elon Musk and got in good with the government uh-huh. and said, "Hey, you got it. it's the same as one of these like you got to increase these tax incentives and give me these carbon fucking things," but we go everyone under five seven has to join our gym. We go to we'll go to Pelosi all all the yes. corrupt fuckers and then and what you do is you give this speech like Elon does where he's like the single biggest biggest issue threatening the future of humanity is short kings not having a place to work out with a little train that choo choos and takes them around. because short guys are dangerous <laughs> yeah because if they don't have a place to go that's their own they'll get angry and dead. they'll go on four chan <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to have a place for them to work out where we can also monitor them. It's yeah. fighting the Napoleon complex. We give them ankle monitors, too, when they come in. God, why aren't we doing this right now? Starting this to make it legally required if you're under 5'7 to go to a gym that we start. And that we keep tabs on. And you. it's government subsidized. A government subsidized Short King's gym? What if a guy's yeah. like 5'7 and a half? You can't come in? <sighs> Well, okay, when he wakes up, he's 5'7", because nobody's the same height all day. Dude, this is the thing. (laughs) I I can't count the amount of times you brought this fucking factoid out. Did you get a fucking National Geographic presents science facts at some point that had this Well, I'm saying if we're going to legally require guys 5'7 and and a half. How many times have you (laughs) trotted out this fucking... This this could cripple the gym, the business. Because it's like, how tall are you right now? Between between that and like the average... Astronauts being taller when they get back to Earth because of all the months they spend in space. This guy. Dude, can't. you should go to space. <laughs> That's the solution to all your problems. <laughs> all the short guy. Hey, the, the <laughs> le- heightening in space is what we'll start. We'll, we're going to use these shuttles that all these assholes are creating. Just to send guys up there for a year to get two inches of height. Yeah, and then, and then within three months, it's completely gone. <laughs> but then, then you get Yeah, they keep going back. Yeah, he, he, he goes, as soon as he lands, he's got his dating pri- profile going, and he's like, like three months. Of maintenance <laughs> in space again. I'm gonna like, bang. Shit, I'll fuck you for a while. I gotta leave for yeah. a few. Uh, I'm gonna bang for three months, go back to space for a year, come back down, get on Tinder, bang for three months, and then go back up. Not a bad way to live. Yeah, until your bones turn to mush. You think so? If you keep, they say that your bones get extraordinarily weakened up there. So that's why. They, but you have to do the workouts in space. Maybe know, Aaron's it's probably still uh, not the same as having gravity. The guy in Aaron's league could have been an astronaut. Weak bones slid into the true? base. Aaron, was he an astronaut? Do you have astronauts? <laughs> he <laughs> plays in the astronaut album. <laughs> oh, Dewitt plays in the astronaut league. <laughs> yeah, dude, with my NASA conference not, tape. You don't say astronaut. You say astra. Yes, or astronauty. It's true. Astro, uh, Astro Hottie. So that would, so yeah, so if, are they measuring five, seven and a half? Is he me- being measured first thing in the morning or at the when end of the day? When he walks in the door to get entrance. Well, then Ooh. just go in the afternoon if you're, if you're on the cusp. What if he's like, fine, I'll, I'll be barefoot. Measure me that way. But you're like, eh, well, everyone five, has seven, to be barefoot. a little change. Oh, you want a barefoot only gym? For optimal no, they primitive wear, workouts. They do wear footy pajamas. Well, I'm saying they don't. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, you know, <laughs> with the little ass hanging out of them. <laughs> Look at these cute little short guys. <laughs> what if they measure you by those like 7 Eleven height things by the door where they measure suspects that have robbed the place? Uh, as soon as you walk in the door, they're like, oh, dude, and get they, the fuck out and of here. And they serve 7 Eleven hot dogs. I, I don't know what to do about this guy who's a half inch taller than. <laughs> 
five seven. I say let him in. No, you can't gym. let him in. It's five seven and below. Now, if by the end of the day he comes in, it's midnight because it's a twenty four hour gym, and his his spine has been compressed all day for some sort of work he's Andrew's doing. Andrew's leaving. Then he and he's under five oh, seven. Andrew's got to get a tissue for his for his jizz. I gotta blow my nose. O'Neill like debating himself on the merits <laughs> of how this would work if one guy came in there. It was a little bit too tall. I mean, you have to know. You got to know your business. Make the call. It's your business, dude. Is there a too small? Is there a low speed limit? No, Ooh. never too small. Never. Yeah, that's the logo. <laughs> never too small. What? Uh, but what, but often too tall. What's her name? The girl from TLC. The woman. Uh, Virginia. S- who broke up? She's Shauna. Sing- Shauna Ray. Yeah. So she can come in, do some bench press. Yeah, yeah, she can do bench Squat. press. Oh, dude, she'd love the it. train. I love the bench press in here. <laughs> she'd love the train. She'd be <laughs> the conductor. She'll be in the <laughs> fucking locker room just fucking... Sucking dicks. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, what are you talking about? Seems, she's an adult, Why but it still that, seems dude? wrong to say that about I her. I know, I know. It's, it's, uh, so you should see the comments, though. Tough, tough subject. There was a the thing, she broke up with that guy. Yes, she did. Yeah, and what, ha- and what were the comments? The comments were like, one guy was like... On this what, guy, This guy's way. a creep. Well, that's like, what they were saying when he was dating. It's her. like yeah, this yeah. guy's a creep. Hit me up. <laughs> and then, like, like people were like being like, "She deserves love. You are, you're a fucking piece fuck of you. Shit. She has needs. Yeah, yeah. People get she real deserves angry. love and sex, <laughs> hot sex <laughs> with my penis. <laughs> <laughs> call me. <laughs> That'd be a great comment. <laughs> I bet she gets hit up with shit like that. By the way, yeah, a lot. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> a lot of DMs. Tricks get DM constantly. You need love. And you, you need me. This is what the perverts call a loophole. <laughs> I thought that it, she was just a regular lady who needed. Uh, love. She does. I, I feel terrible for her, but I, these other guys. Who is, is the like, ideal guy to date her? You. No, I. Am, you get divorced. Uh, you bring her man. to pick up your daughter. Oh, like school. a like a Vern <laughs> Troyer. <laughs> That'd be great. Troy Werner? You're like, this is, uh, this is my girlfriend who looks a lot like the kids who I'm picking up Wait, now. Does she have to right. sit in a car seat or not? No. Once you Is that what she said? <laughs> no, this is a real question. <laughs> she sits in a car seat to drive. So in the state of California, if you are over a certain amount of height and uh, over a certain weight. She's probably you neither. Can, you yeah, don't, but don't have don't to do it. But she's or over. eight years old. I think it's eight years old and older. It's a uh, pubes law. So I think she's about at the eight year old. Um, what if she had to sit in a car seat of? next to your daughter in a car seat? <laughs> I'm Listen gonna, to your stepmom. I'm not going to date Shauna Ray, dude. That isn't even. I like how this guy. I don't know if she would date you. Because I'm not going to do it, guys. She wouldn't date you. She'd message oh, me. Oh, she wouldn't date me. For sure. <laughs> she, she's been messaging she you. She goes, I listen to the podcast. <laughs> so why goes, would I fucking date you? the least guy. sexually attractive member of the podcast. <laughs> she's that like, guy? Who's the softball not. guy? Is that Andrew? <laughs> she would definitely not want to date me. I have. A, I, she does want to date Aaron. She did tell me that. I have a very specific type of person that I attract. Who is that? Five? No. Like, four, I, zero. A hundred percent. Like, I am the right ideal 100 percent type or and who I'm is not. this person specific women no what kind of specific women are drawn to your type i i don't i mean i can't i'll do Dude, like, you can't give this what do you mean i don't understand I, I, you just said i want to know a very specific type of woman yeah yeah when i meet them it's like uh it's 100 percent. there's no there's no like pity pattern around what are you trying to say? <laughs> He's trying to say people either like him instantly or, or hate me. That's what it seems I like. I think that's most people. Earl of Lemongrab says goofballs. So. Goofballs? Do you attract goofballs? <laughs> yeah. Wacky goofballs. People who have clown pants on. <laughs> I have a certain type of woman I attract. What's that? What kind is that? Butt play? Uh, mentally ill butt play. <laughs> Jesus. That's a good band name that for Jewfest. Yeah. yeah. A mentally ill butt play at Jewfest. <laughs> Enjoy your juice fast at Jew Fest and listen to Mentally Ill Butt Play. And go to the Short King's Gym because that could apply for this. You could open up for Jew Fist. Jew Fist? Yeah. Jew, Jew, Jew Fist? Like Doofus? 
Aaron, what else happened on this fucking <laughs> <laughs> holy <laughs> softball? Because you haven't even got to the plaque. Can we do a What's Up Man on Reddit or anything other than this interview? <laughs> what? You're such a dick. You're such a fucking asshole. It's just your interview style sucks for sports. Okay? Aaron's giving us the gold. You got to step it up. I asked one question. You said you got any other thing. Imagine if you were interviewing someone on ESPN. You go, you got anything else to say about the game or Is whatever? Is this what you want to do? Because <laughs> yeah. I'll turn on you in a second and just fucking... You're going to be calling me. Oh, what is it? We don't want that to happen, O'Neal. <laughs> Will you call me? Leave, leave a message going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that means you're definitely back on the drugs. Oh, oh. I love it when you stall. <laughs> You catch yourself stalling. <laughs> Aaron, I, give, us the, give us the rest of this fucking story. What uh, happened? So th- <laughs> <laughs> You had to go extra innings. You so, didn't yeah, know we, about. We advanced to the championship game against a team that was only one game ahead of us in the uh, standings, but beat us pretty bad the first time we played What's them. What's the team name? HDGB. I don't know what it means. What? HDGB? Yeah. Hi, Def, high def girl banging. B? They did have a woman. Hard dick girl banging. They had the only Hard woman. Dick girl bang. The only, girl they bang. had the only woman in the league uh, on their team. Whoa. How about hot, dirty uh, <laughs> guy? <laughs> keep going. Guy buns. Hot, dirty grab bang. Hot, dirty guy buns. Yeah. Maybe DeWitt's part of it. Was the woman like a ringer? She's she's very skilled. She talks too much, but she's very skilled. Whoa! Oh! oh. And misogyny flares its ugly head once again. I didn't what? say hey, she talks. Shut your bitch up in the mouth. <laughs> shut your fucking trap. Get back in the kitchen and hit some fucking softballs. You guys would, if you'd have been there, you'd have been like, yeah, she talks too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we would have said much worse. Yeah. She's like, hey, Aaron, how you been? Oh, how's Dude, it going over we're there? hardcore feminists. We don't shy away from making fun of women and men. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did she play college softball? Hard, hard to say. I don't know. It's possible. Did she would see? She, would like she play? Would, was she kissing another girl before <laughs> she went out to bat? No. Would okay. you? Uh, would you date her if she was? If you were single and she was single? Uh, not, not after. Her attitude yesterday. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. wow. There's some things not being said. But she's said. attractive, yes. But this makes it sound like air. It could be like a broke back mountain. Let's wrestle a little bit, and then we make out. Maybe. So, yeah, hate but, each other. Hey, are you guys going to uh, hurt? Are you guys hurting cattle later? Are you fucking- <laughs> That'd be an amazing. Critics say it's like broke back mountain, except it's a softball league, and it's a guy and a girl. What a great twist on it. They're like, you loved broke back mountain. Now here's a twist. It's a man. And a woman <laughs> playing softball. They playing hate softball, you. not cowboys. Uh, and she slides in, and Aaron's right there. What do you mean she talked too much? Like, what do you mean she talked too much she shit? She was just, she was just like chirpy, like, like she didn't like things, and uh, she's like, I hate. She didn't Aaron. like a strike call that got called against her, which was a strike, and and she just from that you took was, that personally because you of course it's pitching. my it's my strike, yeah. You're like you, you shut your fucking mouth. And she you, she completely was rattled. She fouled out and that and then at bat like she. Aaron said, "I'm together. in your head, bitch." That's what he said. <laughs> did you? Did anybody scratch cunt into her car no. <laughs> with her keys? <laughs> <laughs> did you tell uh, her she talks too much at the end of the game? No, no. Do you guys shake hands? Is yes, a, yes, yes. We now, do. Now, when you do the hands. good game, good game, did you give her a "you suck" instead of the good game? No, I, I actually said I actually said nice hitting man. <laughs> I fucking, oh, <laughs> oh. misgendered, dude. Yeah, what if yeah. you guys? What if Which you leave your inaccurate. wife and you guys get together, and it's like you guys fall in love? What are you saying? <laughs> Sometimes yeah. this is how relationships start. <laughs> These are the kinds of questions that this guy normally asks me. <laughs> Now he's doing it. There. I'm just wondering what this is. Well, sometimes how these crazy relationships start. Yeah, you can never be sure. Yeah, you, you, know, you always got to ask. A lot of people never. join these softball leagues looking for love. Hey, I noticed you were telling a story today about a woman. I mean, what if you league, left your but... wife for her and <laughs> fucked her? What would that be like? That is, you can never yeah, tell. These can. things happen. They happen. Your Honor, these things happen. So I think, they've happened before. <laughs> I think it's okay for me to. Uh, <laughs> they're like badgering the witness and i go your honor these things happen he goes 
goes, I'll allow it. Yeah, I'll allow it. Ask him a couple more questions about whether he fucked that hot lawyer. Or that, that's, a good, that's a good thing in, in the workplace. Someone's like, oh, I was working with uh, Tina. Oh, oh, Tina, she's what a you, chick. What if you left Tina? And you <laughs> left your wife and you fucked Tina. What would that be like? Would you fuck her? Would you like her pussy? If <laughs> And they're like, you, can't, you can't ask that in here. You're like, why not? It's happened before. Hey, happens all the time. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he says in HR. He goes, hey, it happens all the time. Let me hear. It. Say it. Let's hear Aaron's response to it. Let's see where where it goes. Aaron, what is your response? What is your response? I'm saying, what if you left your wife and you got with this lady? You married? What? Well, go ahead, Aaron. I'd like to hear your response. <laughs> Aaron, the floor is yours. Happens What's all the, the question? Time. Happens all the time. But Aaron, what if you? You fell in love with this lady and you what liked your fuck? wife and you got married to her. It's highly unlikely. <laughs> no, just would you invi- would you invite us to the wedding? Uh yeah, of course. But I how- feel like we're the only show here that supports your softball. No one else even really. I, I, haven't seen I, I don't hear people bring it up on the streets at all. <laughs> that's, true, that's true. I feel like we're the only uh, podcast that supports your new marriage to this woman. <laughs> I would say that I'm the only guy on this show that supports it. And the rest of you guys are against it. I'm pro Aaron's wife right now. How do you expect us to sit through that wedding with a straight face after we heard how mouthy this girl is? <laughs> She'd give a long speech. Uh, Dude, keep long your, vows. If this wedding happened and I, and you guys were, we were all there, and I'm just every time I'm just looking at you back at you guys, going, "You fucking idiots! I told you he was going to get told me this was going to happen. <laughs> this happens what all the if, time. What if? Look what's happening right here. And then you see that it's a female minister. You go, "Oh, what if the congregation like left <laughs> their wives <laughs> and all t- turns fucking this female minister? This, this is like how Mike Pence's wife thinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the constant fear." Of him leaving her to fuck all these women. Uh, we've got a female waitress today. Oh man, what if I left my wife for this female waitress and I fucked her and had kids with her? And I do <laughs> these are things you have to ask. <laughs> no, these are those are intrusive thoughts. They're not, not things you have to ask. Thoughts. These are OCD intrusive nope. thoughts. These are not questions you must ask. These are the hard hitting questions that nobody wants to ask and nobody wants to know the answers to. <laughs> These are the kind of questions. If you vote for me, <laughs> no, you symptoms of mixed mental illness. Nope. If you vote for me, these uh, are the kind of questions. Every I'll time ask. you see a woman, if you have to ask yourself, would I leave my wife for this woman? Would you leave your wife for this woman? <laughs> they had a connection. They had a connection. So I thought, what if they? What if that connection turned to romance? What if the hatred was actually just un? Requenting love. <laughs> Requenting? <laughs> Le- La Quinta in? <laughs> La Quinta in. Uh, what if this love <laughs> was an was intrusive a, thought? Was a mentally ill blossom? Man. That's all I'm... Hey, uh, I throw the uh, questions out there... You I'm do it the way hey, you want. I'm asking the hardest hitting questions, like what if that lawyer's a lizard person? <laughs> what what if I stab that guy in the face for no reason? President Obama, Ryan O'Neill, the beach cops. Uh, what happens if you leave your wife for uh, Nancy Pelosi and fuck? Happens her? all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would love you to have to answer because it happens all Dude, the time. If if somebody asked Obama that, would he? Would you not love to hear the answer to that question? <laughs> what do you think the answer would well, be? It would break the internet if he goes well. Let me spark this cool uh, up here. <laughs> let me uh, let me tell you this. Uh, you have a Marlboro Red. I I, I I probably would not would not do that. And I do people because this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, you follow up, any follow up questions? Yeah, it happens all the time. So why did, would you say you probably wouldn't do it? <laughs> you didn't Again. say no. You didn't say no. I, I would watch that clip a million times. <laughs> of an insane person asking <laughs> President Obama if he would leave insane. his wife for Nancy Pelosi. You know who else they called insane? <laughs> who? Albert Einstein. Did they call him insane? Uh, many people. In the uh, membrane. That's what they said? Yeah, yeah married, that was songs about him. He married his cousin. <laughs> I need. Um, you love that, huh? Would you let me represent you in a legal case? Not after it? today. Against Aaron. <laughs> when I go, Your Honor, I'd like to see these two kids. <laughs> I go, 
Uh, bad, you're How are you bad representing the witness? <laughs> How are you representing me in the legal case? <laughs> what's, the, what's the case? <laughs> yeah, what is the case? Let's think of a good case. Yeah, great lawyer! Great, great fucking lawyering! This guy in the middle of it said, what is this case? <laughs> that's, but that's a great. Now I put doubt in the witnesses in the fucking jury's head. Jury? Whether there's even a case here. Object what is this case? Objection, your honor. My lawyer is insane. <laughs> and I go, am I insane or... Your Honor, oh, let me well, tell you this. Look at juror number am three. Am I insane or am I the smartest guy in the room? Let me look at juror number three. What if you left your wife for her? <laughs> and you had, and he hey, your Honor, I've got a question. What if there's 69 jurors? So I could say, let's look at juror number 69. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> there's 12. Your Honor, first question, what is this case? <laughs> Second Dude, question, why don't we all kiss? I, I think that that's a great start because you're already putting doubt in the jury's head that there is even a case here. Give it to me again. I, I want to hear what you think is a great opening legal <laughs> argument. I just want to hear it. Please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what is this case? <laughs> I don't even know because it's, there's nothing here. This case, you know what? I didn't even look at what this case is about because <laughs> I knew. Because it's so fucking stupid. Yeah, because there's nothing here. Why are we wasting our time? I, I didn't want to waste any more of my time, so I don't know anything about this case. Yeah, you know, because it's pointless. I, I take it back. That's good lawyering. <laughs> that is. I come Not from a long documents. line of lawyers <laughs> berating the court. I come from a long line of lawyers. I got five lawyers. So is it Aaron suing Andrew? I'm confused on who, because I'm confused with. No, O'Neill brought me to court to try to force us to kiss. But and, then he's but saying, he's but then lawyer. he's saying there may not even be a case here. <laughs> so he that. did say that. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it may be the most chaotic courtroom proceedings I've ever. Is that just a life. fake out? <laughs> Can I tell you <laughs> the old make out fake out? Yeah. Uh, Your Honor, you see that there's precedent in make out versus fake out. <laughs> Can I tell you my strategy? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think I'd love to hear your strategy. You know, how sometimes you leave this show and your mind is turned to mush. You yes. don't know what's re reality anymore. Uh -huh. I think a couple weeks with me as the defense attorney, your defense attorney, this jury, they they won't know what's real and what's not anymore. They'll start quoting facts from fucking Twitter and not know. Here's the thing. You don't know what's real or what's fact. Oh, anymore. I know what's real. Because you don't even know what case it is. <laughs> I don't need to. How am I? My I, plan I'm is a defense attorney for what kind of case? You you have some problem. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your problem. That's his billboard. You have some problem? Make up your problem. <laughs> Call me. So here's my defense of you. I, I go, it. ladies and gentlemen, this, this case is so pointless. My, my client's so innocent. I didn't even bother to learn about this case. They love that. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's guy a straight shooter from the hip. Yeah. They'll love it. They'll, first of all, they know I'm a Midwestern guy, so they trust me immediately. Uh, I'm not one of these East Coast, West Coast and He proves buffoons. that he's a, a Midwestern guy by having legal in Indiana ninja stars. But illegal in plan. California. <laughs> all right. Get me out I'm of this. Salt of the earth. Okay. What's your, what's your dilemma? Uh, let's get a, a dilemma from the, uh, from the chat. Let's get a, let's leave it up to the chat. What kind of, Aaron? Oh, by well, the way, we went extra innings and we lost. Um, that's oh, right. and you oh, got a, pla what'd you get a plaque for? For being the runner up. Why didn't you break it? Also, uh, also that chirpy girl got the game winning uh, base hit. Whoa. Is, is that, is chirpy the new term for the for women? Aaron's <laughs> future wife. What year is this? 1940s? Ah, she's a bit chirpy. Squeezed her butt cheeks and she. Like in the 1940s. Well, she, is she the other team's best player? No. No, not at all. Was she the worst player? No, not at Did all. Did they carry her off like Rudy? No. Did you see anybody, uh, maybe her husband, slapping her in the parking lot? Going, no. You embarrassed me in there. No, no, no. Were her kids there if she had them? I think she had a, a son, yeah. He was there. Yeah. He's like, Mom, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy's too loud. You're making, hey, Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of Aaron. Daddy you're, just, says, you're just making the other guy angry. Daddy says Mommy talks too much, and then he hits her. Mommy complains about softball. <laughs> She hates what if what, what if this is it. like what if she lives in like a women a battered women's shelter and this is her only outside activity? Yeah, what about what do you think about that, Aaron? <laughs> Does that change what happens, Aaron? Daddy, what I if mean, Mommy left you and fucked that it. pitcher? <laughs> what if the kid calls her calling you dad? 
I think next time you see this woman, you say, "What if we left our spouses and significant others?" I can tell you, got to get. I can say <laughs> that's a bold move. I can you say gotta not wait. To say that. I can yeah. say not to say that to anybody. <laughs> say, hey, a guy I know. He he brought up an interesting question. <laughs> hey, this idiot I know. You, you try to play it off. Nope. You go. There's this buffoon I know on this podcast. He was saying how crazy it would be if we hooked up. And Can had I just an say affair. this? That'd be crazy, <laughs> Funny, right? right? Funny we stuff. we fear and ridicule <laughs> that what we don't understand. You think I don't understand what you're doing? You, you don't get it. Oh yeah, because this guy's playing 4D chess over here. <laughs> With his not reading case documents. <laughs> It's a great strategy. What's the thing that O'Neill's going to defend me in court on? Dude? No, no the people are just caught up on this affair. Okay. They say uh, say want to go to Vegas and elope. Maybe have an officiant on the Fine. field. Uh, uh, yeah, I, that'd be great. You should carry <laughs> you, an officiant with you at all times because you never know when you're going to leave your wife for somebody and Check get married. This out. I think Mike is ordained, so he was there. Oh. I've, got, I've got the case. All right. The president was there? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Murder wow. was the case that they gave me. It won't be murder. I'm being sued by a, a prominent underwear brand for, for not kissing them for for s- claiming that the the um, for bad mouthing their product for having oh. blown out. Balls. Dude, that's the easiest thing ever. My opening statement, Andrew, hit, play dance. Oh yeah, yeah. Dance. Let's play lawyer music for. I want to hear lawyer music for this fucking. No, no, play thing. dance, Andy, dance. This is my defense. No, dude, don't play that. This is your defense. I can't, I can't take. I can't take my pants off today, guys. <laughs> you want? Do you want to win this court? battle or do you want to lose millions of dollars play lawyer defamation. music just look up lawyer music no. danish it's incomprehensible song How dope. you want to win this or not here's the opening for dance andy dance andrew Pinky morning Pinky morning Pinky. i present to you this take your pants off no that's andrew not my pants off. your pants off do you want to win <laughs> Dudes and old fat ladies, just be present to you a, exhibit A, ladies and gentlemen. The underwear in question. Wife, I assume she has a tight fit. Okay. Oh, you got your fingers you wet in your nuts. Okay, I'm trying to keep it from falling out. This is your court case to make me do this. <laughs> make it all the underwear. This is the argument. These are the underwear in question. Oh, look at those. They're terrible. Do you think that. Wait, look at those, those are I want you to. That, I'm a juror. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Stick them up in the back. <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> those are skinny cuts. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're still blown out. <laughs> All right, pull your pants up, please. Uh oh. <laughs> your Honor, oh, we are putting uh, this company from Beijing. Uh, is suing Andrew DeWitt. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, if you, if you can now go over to Patreon. <laughs> yeah, well, the rest of the case will be held. <laughs> the trial will commence shortly on the Patreon. Earl of Lemon Grab, before we get leave, says, what's the extra stuff in the back of his underwear? I think it's dog shit. It's not dog shit. I don't have shit in my pants. We have hundreds of episodes on Patreon. Get over there. Check them out if you have it. I can pull Hundreds of hours. We've even... Uh, what are you doing? No now let me see. Shit. Let me see the cut. What, what kind of cut are these? What's the cut of your gym? Are these women cut? What are those? Pull things? those up where I can see the liner or the the spanks band. They're not spanks. <laughs> oh, look at that thing! Come on, <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> pointing at my wiener and balls. Sit down now. We're going to Patreon. Okay. 